We will speak in one of the languages of the Earth people. It's time for another two minute tech tip. My name is Frank Nimfius and I'm from the Oracle Digital Assistant Product Management Team. In this two minutes, I will show how to create a custom component using the Oracle Bots Node SDK that we published on GitHub. I assume you have Node installed and Node Package Manager, so let's go straight for a demo. This is the GitHub page that hosts the SDK and the first time that you use that SDK you will have to do a global installation. Reason is that this gives you access to the command line utilities. Now we did that already, so let's go straight to creating the component. So first I start off creating a component folder and then I'm initializing it. So just turning this as npm init y into a project. And now I install the same SDK locally because that will give me ability to do a local debugging if needed. Once this is installed, I now can create a component using the command line. So this creates the file for me. And once it's created, I can have a look at my file system. So I do have a folder here, a components folder, and here's my Hello World file. So opening it up, it shows what it created. The name of the component is the same as the file name, so I like to have a prefix to make it more unique. So saving this one up, going to the terminal, and here I just type npm pack to create a deployable. So with this, I can go to my bot, to my skill bot, create a new service registration, uh, hello world, and then drag this one in and create it. Once this is created, I can see the properties, the component name and the return values, create a dialog flow that references my component, and then I can run and test this in the Embedded Conversation Tester. And here we go, it welcomes me by the name. So very quick to create a custom component and to deploy. Was that a good tip? But of course there's a knack to it, same as anything else. We want your opinion. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.